Hello everyone, it's that time of year, the air is crisp, the leaves are turning and we're all wondering, when will we see the first snow? There's something magical about that first snowfall, it hushes the world, covering everything in a clean white blanket. Kids dream of snowmen and snowball fights while adults cozy up with a warm drink. The anticipation is half the fun, we start checking the weather, hoping for that first snowflake. Will it be a dusting or a big storm? Either way, the first snow transforms everything into a winter wonderland. So grab a cup of cocoa, get comfortable, and let's dive into the magic of the first snow. Ever wondered what makes it snow? Let's break down the simple science. First, you need cold air, at or below 32 degrees Kenaiders, 0 degrees Kenaiders, not just at the ground, but up in the clouds. Snow forms when water vapor cools and turns into tiny ice crystals as it rises. These crystals grow around dust or pollen, becoming the seeds of snowflakes. The third ingredient is lift, something like a cold front to push moist air upward. As crystals fall, they stick and grow, forming the unique flakes we love. When cold, moisture, and lift come together, winter magic happens. Ready to track the first flakes? Let's head to the mountains. The first snow in the U.S. almost always starts in the mountains. High elevations in the Rockies, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, get cold fast, even in early fall. Denver, the mile-high city, usually sees its first measurable snow around October 18, but flakes can fly as early as September. For 2025, long-range patterns suggest a typical start, with a cold front from Canada likely bringing the first coating by mid to late October. Further north, Places like Jackson, Wyoming, and Bozeman, Montana, often see snow in late September or early October. Ski resorts in these regions eagerly await these first flakes to kick off their season. In California's Sierra Nevada, the highest peaks get early snow in October, but the big storms usually arrive in November or December with powerful Pacific systems. The Rockies get the first teaser of winter, while the Sierras wait for the main event. These early snows are crucial for tourism and set the stage for the winter ahead. The mountains are always the first to turn white, signaling winter's arrival. If you want to see the first snow, head for the high country. The rest of the country will have to wait a little longer. Next, let's see when the plains and Midwest get their first taste of winter. The snow story is just beginning. Moving east, the Great Plains and Midwest are next in line for snow. Minneapolis, a true winter city, usually gets its first measurable snow in early November thanks to cold blasts from Canada. Chicago and Des Moines wait a bit longer. Chicago's first snow average is around November 18th. Influenced by Lake Michigan's warmth and lake effect snow, forecasting the first flakes here is always a challenge, with some neighborhoods getting snow while others stay dry. Further south, Kansas City and Omaha typically see their first snow in late November or early December, needing a strong storm to pull cold air far enough south. For 2025, a potential storm system around Thanksgiving could trigger the first widespread snow in the central U.S. These are averages. Some years bring surprise October storms, others make us wait until December. The Midwest is a battleground between warm Gulf air and cold Canadian air. The winter decides when winter starts. Once the snow arrives, it usually sticks around. The first snow signals it's time to prepare for a long winter. Whether early or late, the first flakes are always a big event. The Midwest's winter story is all about timing and surprise. Let's head east to see how the Northeast prepares for winter's arrival. The snow journey continues. Stay tuned. New England is the picture of a classic American winter, quaint towns, stone walls, and early snow. Northern spots like Burlington, Vermont, and Caribou, Maine, often see their first flakes in late October or early November. Boston averages its first measurable snow around November 29th. New York City, usually December 9th. The Atlantic Ocean keeps coastal cities warmer, often turning early snow chances into cold rain. It takes a strong Arctic blast to bring snow to the coast. Big northeast snowstorms, nor'easters, usually hit from January to March, but an early season storm can bring the first significant snow. For 2025, models suggest a slightly later start, with cold air likely staying north through much of November. Cities like Philadelphia and New York may see a milder fall, but one shift in the jet stream can change everything. Keep your shovels handy, but you might have extra time to rake leaves this year. The Northeast's first snow is always 
a celebrated event, no matter when it arrives. The region is ready for whatever winter brings. The first flakes here mean the holiday season is truly underway. Next, let's check out the Pacific Northwest's unique winter story. Snow comes in many forms across the country. Let's see what makes the Northwest special. The Pacific Northwest is a land of contrasts, rainy, mild coasts and snowy cascade peaks. Coastal cities like Seattle and Portland rarely see snow, thanks to the Pacific's moderating influence. When snow does fall, usually late December or January, it's a big deal, often causing major disruptions. For 2025-2026, expect the usual rain in the city, with a slim chance of snow before the new year. Just east, the Cascade Mountains are a different world. Mount Rainier and Mount Hood get their first snows in October, with hundreds of inches piling up each year. Pacific storms rise over the mountains, cooling and dumping massive amounts of snow. Ski resorts depend on these early snows to kick off their season. In the Northwest, your winter experience depends on where you are, mild and rainy in the city, or a snowy wonderland in the mountains. Residents can choose their adventure cozy in the city or skiing in the mountains. It's the best of both worlds and a defining feature of life here. The first snow is never far away if you know where to look. The Northwest's winter is all about variety. Next, let's head south, where snow is a rare treat. Even the rarest snowfalls have their own magic. Let's see how the South experiences winter. In the South, snow is a rare and exciting event. Warm Gulf air usually keeps cities like Atlanta and Dallas mild all winter, with snow only possible when Arctic air and a Gulf storm meet perfectly. Most years, there's no measurable snow at all just the occasional dusting every year or two. When it does snow, it's big news, schools close, families rush outside, and everyone tries to build a tiny snowman before it melts. In Houston or New Orleans, snow is even rarer, maybe once a decade. Many kids grow up never seeing snow in their own backyard. Florida? Snow is almost unheard of, except for a few historic flurries in the far north. For 2025, the chance of snow in the south is low, but never say never. One special storm can surprise everyone. When it happens, it's pure magic and a memory that lasts a lifetime. The South's rare snow days are moments of joy and wonder. Even a brief snowfall brings the community together. The rarity makes it all the more special. Now let's talk about how our snow seasons are changing. Climate is shifting the story of snow across the country. We can't talk about snow without mentioning climate change. It's reshaping our winters. The planet is warming and that means the first snow is arriving later in many places. Winters are shorter, with fewer snow days and a later start. Even a small temperature increase means it takes longer for the air to get cold enough for snow. In the northeast and midwest the first snow now often comes days or even a week later than it did decades ago. But a warmer atmosphere holds more moisture so when a big storm does hit, it can dump even more snow in a single event. We're seeing fewer snow days overall but sometimes bigger storms when conditions are right. This shift affects ski resorts, water supplies, and the rhythms of winter life. In the West, mountain snow is a crucial water source. Less snow or faster melting can mean shortages later. The magic of the first snow is also a vital part of our environment's health. These changes remind us to appreciate every snowfall. Our winters are evolving, and so are our traditions. The first snow is more precious than ever. Let's cherish it while we can. So there you have it, a journey across the country, tracking the first snow of the 2025 season. From the Rockies' early dustings to the South's rare flurries, every region has its own winter story. We've learned the recipe for snow-cold air, moisture, and lift. Your location, mountain coast or plain, shapes when you'll see those first flakes. Weather is full of surprises, so stay tuned to your local forecast. The anticipation is part of the fun, and every snowfall feels more special as our climate changes. When the first snow arrives, take a moment to enjoy the beauty and quiet it brings. Build a snowman, make a snow angel, or just watch the flakes fall. The first snow is a gift, a signal to slow down and savor the season. It connects us to nature and to each other. Here's to a safe, happy, and beautiful winter ahead. We'll be here to guide you from the first flake to the last. Thanks for joining us on this snowy journey. Now here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. 